Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gary. I'm a cybersecurity professional by day. I want to show you a little tool. It's called Hunter, and it's something that's going to let you find valid email addresses in organizations much more simply. And there's many reasons why you would want to do this. Maybe you're in the marketing game, you're a salesperson, or you're a hacker. You could be a red teamer who's looking to target organizations during an engagement and you want to find some valid email addresses, things like that. So let's take a look. So this is hunter.io. Come here, sign up for a free account. You get lots of searches, 25 searches, 50 verifications in the month, more than enough to get going and learn how to use this tool. And it's really good to learn how to use these tools. Even if you're not in the marketing game, for example, this is mainly aimed at marketing folk with CRMs, customer relationship management software like HubSpot connected. But all of these tools are also really, really useful for red teamers and attackers and even bad guys. If you're a red teamer and you've got a whole bunch of different engagements going on, there's no reason why you couldn't use a tool like this to manage a lot of that data. So let me show you how this works. This is the interface and you just come up here and you type in IOI.DK. You can put the domain name or the company name. IOI are the people that make the Hitman game, one of the best games in the world, if I do say so myself, and they're currently working on the new 007 game. And let's look at the email structure. You can see here it tells you the email pattern, which is first, and then the first letter of the last name. So if I was working at IOI, by the way, IOI, if you need a cyber person to come and lead one of your teams, hit me up. But if I was working there, it would be Gary R at IOI.DK. Unless there already was a Gary R at IOI.DK, in which case we'd need Agent 47 to take care of that problem for us. And then I would step into that seat. And you can see here that they're pretty sure that this is a real person here. 99% valid project specialist and that's from two sources so it actually tells you where they got the information from and the date so november 26th 2022 on the careers page if we just open this up that job doesn't exist anymore fair enough maybe we can see one here this is another career page no that doesn't exist either 15 sources for this one so ioi at ioi.dk which is probably just a generic email address, if we open this up, that doesn't exist either. I think they must have done a website refresh actually fairly recently because the new website looks great. Yep, there we go. So this one, ioi at ioi.dk is on the wholesalegame.com website as of January 30th this year. And when we go there, we can see Hunter has found it right there on that page. So in essence, it's a web scraper that finds email addresses and just brings it all together for us. It's really, really handy and I love it. Let's go back to these results. You can see here it says accept all, no. Now this is really interesting. If we just look at Apple for a second, here they are. So three and a half thousand results. Accept all is set to no as well on Apple. Let me find one that has accept all set to yes. There we go. Google has accept all set to yes. And you can see the email structure is first name, last name at google.com. And let's just click this so we can see what accept all yes means. It means that it will receive every single email that you send to it, whether it's correct or not. So if you email Gary Ruddle is the boss of Google at google.com, that email will go into the system. Now, that can lead to some false positives because then you can be sending emails to email addresses that don't exist. You get no idea that that email doesn't actually exist. So bear that in mind when you come to look at these accept all emails. Now, another thing that's handy with Google Chrome here is I've got the hunter.io search set up. Now, because we're on the hunter.io page, the hunter.io plugin is looking for the Hunter IO domain. And you can see that it's found a whole bunch of things here. So Mark Cornelison is at Hunter IO in 2022. This bottom one's been removed. You got product designers, you got all these people and you can see their email structure, first name at hunter.io. 
So if you go onto LinkedIn and you find me working at Hunter.io, you would email me gary at hunter.io. That's how it works. And if we just go to another website like Google, for example, we click this, you can see here, it's starting to pull through all of these results as well. And we can see all the sources where they come from. So that's Hunter.io. I recommend you add it to your arsenal, sign up for a free account. It's really, really useful for lots of different types of people. But if you need to find email addresses and more importantly, email structures to correlate against LinkedIn data, for example, this is the tool for the job. Have a play.